In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really awesome disintegration effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I've got two video clips. I've got a shot of me standing there looking at my hand as it's disintegrating away. And then I've got this clean plate. Both are on a tripod and the lighting is the same on both. That's really important. Now from here, we want to go on to the subject layer and I'm just going to rotoscope myself out of the shot. So I'm going to go to the very beginning of that shot. I'm going to go up to the roto brush icon, double click the canvas, zoom out, and then I'm just going to paint within myself. Now you want to make sure that the first frame is a good analysis. So you want to really do a good job of making this first frame precise. So as you can see, this shouldn't be included. This shouldn't be included. And to remove something, you want to hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. Basically, we just want to go through, zoom in and remove anything that shouldn't be there. So the background shouldn't be included. So we are going to remove it. Now, if you go into window and make sure brushes is enabled, navigate down to brushes. We can change the diameter by pulling this down. And this means we can now get in between the fingers to remove this. And you can see that's looking pretty good. So if we now just zoom back out to fit and we press space to play, you can see this is going to analyze. Now instantly I've noticed down here there is a mistake. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and just remove the background here. Now I'm just going to crack on. I'm going to press space and let this reanalyze. And you just want to watch this carefully go through frame by frame and make sure this does a really good job of cutting the person out or creating this edge. If you wanted to, you could change the view to toggle alpha overlay, which is this one. And that will give you a very clear indication of what is going to be included. Great. And once that's done, you just want to proof watch it and make any adjustments if you need to. But if you're happy, you can go to the composition and you can see we have this person cut out. So I'm going to move that to the top and I'm going to move our clean plate over to the left. So we're now back on top of our clean plate. Now from here, I'm just going to go into the effects and presets panel and I'm going to search for CC pixel poly and I'm going to drop that onto that rotoed layer. Now, if for some reason this has disappeared when you drag pixel poly on, then you might want to check your start time. So drag through to the point where you want the effect to start to appear and then drag this start time second time around until you see the person appear. So in my example, it's 9.5 where I want this to start. So now when we play this back, you'll notice this is the effect. You can see at the moment, doesn't look too great. Definitely needs some work. So I'm going to go through to the point where I start to disappear and I'm going to go into these settings. So force, I'm going to change. So I'm going to pull that up to 50 and see how that affects the video. So you can see that now looks like a shatter. So I'm going to pull that down a little bit and I'm going to pull the gravity down as well. So if I actually go to a negative number, then it will look like it's floating away. It will make it appear really light as if the wind has caught it and it is floating away. Now, if you wanted to change the shape and you don't have these triangles or the textured polygons, we can select this button and we can change it to textured square instead. And that's going to change it like this. We can also increase the grid spacing or decrease the grid spacing to change the size of those squares. So if you wanted these really small squares, then you could pull this down to maybe five or maybe four and you get this particle effect. So you'll notice at this moment in time, all of a sudden mine disappears and that is because I've got a short video. So if yours is doing this, then you're going to want to extend your video but this does mean you're going to have to go back into the roto brush to carry on the analysis. So if you go into the roto brush and we go to the end, you can see you're going to have to now carry on the roto. Now, as well as this pixel animation effect, so the pixel poly effect, we can also use assets on top of this to really accentuate that feeling. So we could go for a smoke or a dust hit just to accentuate that pop or that transition into these particles. Now I've downloaded my dust and smoke elements from production crate, but you can download these from other sites as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the blend mode on this. So I'm going to go to toggle switches slash modes to reveal mode, and I'm going to change this to screen. 
Alternatively, I could also do add. Both of those are going to work for us. But I'm gonna scrub through to the point where the effect starts to appear, which is here. And then I'm gonna drag that underneath the person. And when we play this back, you'll notice those two elements combined, they create a nice effect. I am just gonna copy that. So go Command C, Command V, drag the copied version on top. So now we've got smoke above and below. I'm going to increase the scale of that. And I'm just going to go into basic 3D. Drop that onto the top layer. I'm going to adjust the swivel to 180. Just to change the direction of that smoke. And now you notice that's pretty good. So I think the only things that we need to do is add a flash. So we'll go into the adjustment layer, add levels, make a flash, and then we'll do some color grading to really bring this all together. So to add the flash, we'll go layer, new adjustment layer, go through to the point where it explodes or it just pops out, go into effects and presets and search for levels, drop that on. Then we'll go to input white and we'll pull that up, create a brand new keyframe on the histogram. We'll go back on ourselves two frames, go back to 255 on the input white. Then we'll go a few frames after the initial pop and pull that back to 255. And now, of course, we need to just go ahead and add some color grading onto this. So I'm going to go into effects and presets, search for Lemetri. Drop that on the bottom video. Go into creative, look, browse. I'm going to search for my Panasonic LUT. Then I'm just going to paste that onto the person layer. In Lemetri, I'm just going to make a few adjustments. So on basic correction, I'm just going to increase the contrast. I'll increase the exposure a little bit. Going to pull the tint towards the greens, add some warmth. Just play with these settings a little bit until I've got to a point that I'm fairly happy. And then I'm going to take that Lemetri, go to the original layer, so the clean plate. I'll delete the Lemetri there and paste the new one on. And when we play this back, we end up with this. So you can see it's looking a lot better. Of course, a nice little camera hit would really sell this effect. So I'm just going to highlight everything, right click, pre-compose, press OK. Then I'm going to go through to the point where that pops, which is there. Go down into transform, create a brand new keyframe on rotation and position. I'm going to pull the rotation around to maybe five. Then we'll go back in time two frames and go to zero. Then we'll go two frames after we'll go to minus three. Two frames after will be two. Two frames after that will be minus one. And then two frames after that will be zero. And then of course we want to enable the motion blur. So select the motion blur, enable that. And when we play this back, you see that looks good but we are catching the black edges of the frame. So we need to add motion tile onto this. Output width will go for 150. Output height can be 150. Then we'll mirror the edges. And now when we render this out and we play this back, we've got a pretty close to finished effect. So all I would do now to finish this off is I would go back into the rotode layer and just extend that a little bit just so we really hang on this moment of all this dust settling. But once I've done that, I think we are pretty much near complete. So this is the disintegration effect inside of Adobe After Effects now complete. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.